hello guys this is manu i'm uh, back again with this video um this is regarding queries i've i've got uh regarding the palatal anatomy i carve on the denture and why do i do it and uh, how i do it so basically uh i would like to put it uh forward the first thing is um palatal anatomy is mostly unacceptable by the patients if you take it as an average say if you if there are 10 patients uh, and you ask them would you like to get a palatal anatomy on your denture um, i think they might say yes uh, initially say four or five after uh, out of ten but there would be just one or two people who would go ahead with uh, the palatal anatomy in a denture so the ratio of um, uh, patient acceptance with palatal anatomy is fairly low but it is something which can add to your skill um, I was unfortunate uh, that uh, in in this part of uh, Sydney uh, nobody is uh, teaching all this so I had to do it all myself um, and look at all your videos your pictures um, and and I've been looking at models I've been looking at impressions and thinking about ways how to do it so first time I did it it was just a free hand with a uh, electric wax knife, wax knife and, and a bit of wax and I started laying down wax and I started talking to the patient and asking them would you like me to do something different uh, with your denture and I can always take it off if, if you don't like it so that's how it began and most of the time I had to take it off um, because patient didn't like that extra sensation to the tongue or in the in the roof of the mouth um, so uh, that's uh, about um, me starting so what I do and how I do it is uh, um, as, as I said um, one is just plain laying it down freehand and I would suggest if you're doing it uh, definitely look at the models of the patient and and do it from there don't just imagine and do it because patient acceptance would come if they feel the same way as they their original tissues are uh, second uh, thought or second way of doing it is um, I've been uh, sort of duplicating uh, their palatal anatomy using old um, uh, impression materials so I have uh, a light body uh, a medium body and a heavy body so they were all different consistencies but I think um, the the heavy or the medium body work well because the light body is really hard to control it keeps on it's it's really floppy uh, even though it gives really good details so let's see if, if I had to do it with this one um, all, all I would do is uh, normally I do it with different colored waxes and um, they have a bit different uh, uh, characteristic so it lifts up from the mold much easier so this is one way of doing I'm, I'm here I'm just using plain denture wax so the sheet wax which we use for making bite blocks and everything um, so let's see if, if we can lift it up from the mold later um, so yeah this is uh, one way of doing it going all the way to the mid palate and raffae uh, covering all the rugae's and an incisive papilla uh, put a put a generous amount don't be shy uh, let it uh, set and then you manipulate it or, or lift it from the from the mold so if we can get something out of this uh, so this is this is what I do for if I have to duplicate the same anatomy of the palatal tissue um, but if the palate 
uh, has lost its palatal uh, definition and the rugae and the incisive papilla and, and mid palate and raphe everything is, is all compressed and lost uh, due to overuse of denture or, or whatever reason um, we we can always uh, just use uh, our imagination or, or look at some old models and try and replicate the, the anatomy so that would be freehand and i would encourage people to do it see how they do it and where they stand keep on doing it don't get discouraged um i i would encourage them uh, all the time and uh, whosoever asks i would use whatever means i can to help so this is something i did long time back uh, so this is um the the impression uh, this is uh, the lab putty uh, so i i just took a reverse of the tissue this is a reverse of a tissue uh, and I just made a base so that I can reuse it again and again. This was uh, uh, done with a die stone. And this is what I was talking about. I pour an impression which I like with, with palatal anatomy. This was done in alginate. And uh, this is what I get uh, after pouring. And I study these models. I collect them and I study them how the anatomy is how the rugas are going and bifurcating and where these rugas go and end and help us place the canines the incisive papilla helps us to place the central incisors and how far they are to it and and the gingival tissue how it rolls how the gingival call is how the rest of the palatal tissue is the glandular tissue at the back the mid palatine raphe so i i love to read the models i love to read the impressions and then take my work from there so um this is uh what i generally do let's see if, if this is cold enough and we can peel it off i'm just taking a chance here so let's see okay it's peeling off so you've got to be a bit gentle while removing this if you're going to use this kind of a technique uh, with a with a very delicate hand don't just push it just ease it off the mold and there you go so hopefully the camera would uh, would show you the clear picture or it's clearer enough so incisive papillae, the rugae, and the mid palatine raphe. So what you do after this is, or what I do after this is, I I don't do anything in the palate. I clean it. I remove all the wax. I put a, a one sheet thickness of wax in there, and then I put this on in the middle. That's how I would do it. And then I would seal it to that first layer of wax. Some people like to do two sheets, which is ideal, two sheet thickness, but then you don't have room to play with. So this would add that extra thickness. And then you can add a bit of wax here on the sides and seal it and then remove the excess. So this is quite malleable, but if you overdo it, see it, it bends and then it, it gets cracks and everything. So if you're planning to do uh, photography of your work later on, the cracks would show. So it won't look nice. So be very gentle and very careful with this. Hopefully this uh, palatal carving video uh, would have served some purpose and helped people who want to do this. Um, I'm happy to help, I'm, as I said before. Um, so uh, thank you for taking your time to look at this video and uh, I would appreciate your take on palatal um, carving or uh, anatomy on the dentures. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, your comments um, and what you think of it. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Have a good day.